Okay, guys, so I just got my um, deer back from the taxidermy. So it's pretty cool. She did an amazing job. See how wide it is? Right good with the burrs. Just everything so good. And yeah, it was actually a really dark rack. And what I like about it with the white skull mount, the Euro mount, is that it made it, you could really tell how dark it is right there. And it had a lot of mass right there. And like, it had like mass all around the, like, the main beam. It wasn't that wide of a deer, which I mean, it still is pretty wide. You can tell right there how wide it is. But, um, yeah, it was pretty nice. It scored about 130, maybe a little bit more, maybe like a little less, but it hasn't been like officially scored or whatever. But yeah, pretty nice. Route times weren't as long. But, oh yeah, and a few other things. There's a little kicker right there. Little thing on the brow time right there. And then, um, oh yeah, right here. It was almost like there was another point grown right there. You can kind of tell. But yeah, m main beams. I mean, not the main beams. The G2s were split. And, um, yeah, it's pretty nice. I'll pop up some pictures of what I had on trail camera. Some velvet pictures and then... It when the velvet came off. Okay, now I'll show a few pictures of the deer when I actually killed it. Okay, so, um, yeah, this was a 2022 season, a nice Georgia buck, yep, got it November 7th of 2020, and yeah, pretty nice. Next year, hopefully I can make this guy look small. For our area, this is a really nice deer for the place I killed it, and, like, this was actually the biggest deer, like, we've ever had on camera for this property we're hunting. And I actually pa passed up one about this big, except it was a nine point, because I was hunting about a 140 inch 10 point or 11 point, maybe a 150 inch, a really nice 11 point, probably 150 inch deer, but passed a bunch of good bucks up trying to shoot him, never got him, did get a nice eight point, not a real nice eight point, but I did get an eight point. And I can show you guys that whenever it gets finished. But, yes, this is pretty nice. So, shot eight deer this year. Two bucks and a bunch of does. And, yeah. So, and also, you guys need to get excited for tomorrow. I'll be posting a trapping video. Well, maybe not tomorrow. Just depends, like, um, if I catch something. I'm going to try to do daily videos and maybe a few shorts every day. But yeah, this is pretty nice. Here, I'll show it like that. You can tell. Really nice. And that right there wasn't very, like, the main beams were, like, weird. Like, see, this one went like that. This one went like that. But yeah, we had a pretty good amount of history with this deer. I actually, I don't have the picture with me, but I actually think it's a deer I was trying to shoot way long ago. I think, not way long ago, but, like, two or three years ago it was like 11 point but he wasn't like two and a half i know i i just started hunting i didn't know what i was doing and i was trying to shoot a two and a half year old 11 pointer it was just he had all he was all like weird and we have no more pictures of anything that was even kind of like him i think this was him but yeah kind of had like a mule de mule deer theme it was a really gray deer it almost looked just like a mule deer like it was really cool. Like, had a dark cape on him and everything. Or, I guess that's what you call it. But, yeah, he's a nice deer. So, yeah, we'll see you guys next time.